Not every signal is going to make sense. Some are clear, sure, but some are noise, and some aren't actually meant for your ears. But just because you can't decode them doesn't mean that you can't learn something about them. The fact that they even exist can sometimes be enough to understand what's going on. In this video, I'm gonna show you the simple tools that I use and the step-by-step -step way that I log signals by hand, exactly what details I write down, and a few online tools that you can use to figure out as much as you can about that signal. You turn on the radio and start listening long enough, you're gonna hear some strange things. From old codgers talking about their new prescriptions and their cataracts to digital signal bursts from LoRa and even public safety traffic. It's all out there, including the mundane, regular conversations and even strange things like number stations still exist out there on shortwave radio. People listen to those things all the time. The question is, is how do you discern between the mundane, everyday traffic and something that could be anomalous that's hidden within the mundane? You gotta start by listening a lot and writing stuff down. If you don't write it down, then it's gone and you're not gonna remember. Sometimes you only hear a signal one time, but writing it down means you're never gonna lose it. That one single log entry could be a clue to help you build a pattern over time. Here are the tools that I use to keep everything relatively simple. The Tiny SA Ultra, probably one of my favorite tools. It's a spectrum analyzer and you use it to sweep across broad ranges of different frequencies and actually see the signal shape along with the power. The Bearcat scanner, which really you can use any receiver that's broadband, receives all the way down from the CB band all the way up to nearly the gigahertz range. You can actually use it to tune into different frequencies and actually hear the traffic that's going on and it'll decode some signals like DMR and P25 for public safety traffic. Of course, you don't have to use a, a scanner like this one. You can just use a typical handheld radio, an HT radio. Just the benefits of a dedicated receiver is that it can receive broader bands. And then of course, a regular notebook and a pen. I log everything by hand with a pen and a notebook. It's quick, it works anywhere, and it keeps me engaged with what's actually coming in over the radio or on the tiny SA. Each log entry is going to have a date and a time, a frequency, a description of what you hear. It could be call signs, people's names, places that you hear, conversation topics, and a description of what the signal type is. That could be if it's voice, if it's digital, how wide the signal is, or if it looks like it might be more narrowband, a digital type of signal. All of that can be used with the online tools I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. Let me show you how this is going to work. So with the tiny SA, you're going to enter in the start and the stop frequencies that you're interested in looking at. As soon as you see a spike, scroll over and you can mark and figure out what frequency that came from. Now with this, I have the waterfall going on so you can see a history of the signals that have actually passed by. So you can get an idea of what that signal looked like. And if you happen to miss a spike, it'll show on this history where that spike was, how long it was, and additional information that you can write down into your log. Once you see a spike, jot down the frequency in your log and the time that you saw that spike. And then you wanna tune your radio or your receiver to that particular frequency and start writing down a description of the traffic. If you can, keep an eye on your tiny SA as you're listening to the traffic and see if you can't jot down some details about what that signal type looks like. Don't overcomplicate it. It sounds like a lot, but you get used to the flow of the information that you need to write down. The idea is to write down enough details so that you can go back and remember what you heard and also look up that information with the tools later. Logging is how you capture signals in the wild. You don't need to understand them yet. You just need a system to record them. You need a system to record them. Next time, I'm gonna show you how to take these single entries in your log and build a, a bigger picture of what's going on in your RF environment around you. Not just on this narrow frequency band that we worked with in this video, but building from as low as you can go to as high as you can go to see what actually exists in your environment. And we can build patterns from that over time. All of those entries in your log are gonna help you decide if it's something mundane in your environment or something a little more interesting. If you didn't catch the previous video about strange radio things, check it out here. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you next time.